Hello and welcome to Digging the Coast 365. Day some th day 38, I think. I think it's day 38. I'm in a field. I'm in a field for three days. Three days digging in a field. Uh, I'm not alone. Oh no 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 no. We've got Rob. Rob. Hi people. <laughs> it, Rob talks really really weird. <laughs> Apples and pears and all that kind yeah, of stuff. This is. Um, he's, go on, promote your YouTube channel. Essex History Hunters, like and subscribe. Come on guys, I need your love. I need your love. He's only got Don't 160 subscribers. 160 subscribers and he's actually got a very good channel. So yeah guys, please subscribe to his uh, channel. If you didn't understand what he said, it's Essex History Hunters. And if I remember, I'm sure he'll make sure I remember, I'll put a link in the description for you to just click on it and subscribe. Simple as that. So, there was a 17th century house nearby. It's not there anymore, but all the coins which were in it are in the ground and we're gonna go get them now. Okay, are you all sitting comfortably at hole number one? Well, let's dig it then. I think it's just a tiny fragment of, oh no, 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 it's not what I thought it was. It's that. A piece of aluminium foil, unbelievable. What a rubbish field you've brought me to. I want to go now. Okay, this is slightly interesting. It looks like it's the rim off some kind of plate or something. Made out of pewter, I think. And it looks like it's got two numbers there, like 30 or something. Well, my guess is that's the rim off a pewter plate. Could be very old. People, I think we've got a coin. Look at it. Very close to the surface. Bent. Um, definitely a coin. Let me clean that up and I'll let you know what we've got. So there's my coin, bent. It's it's not that old. I think it's just a half penny from like 1940. Um, couldn't really make out the date, but I think it said 1940 something. But it's a good start. It's a good start. It's Rob down there says this is the area to be doing because he found he found a lot of coins around here, quite old coins as well. In his last video, check out his last video. Essex History Hunters. You know, I've got to plug him. I've, I'm getting free lodgings and shepherd's pie tonight. By the way, anybody who said I can stay with them on this trip, um, please forward me a menu before I turn up. Give me a few days notice and I'll pick what I want. Thank you. Well, the truth is, guys, I've hardly filmed anything for an hour. Um, a lot of hot rocks. And it's got to the stage now where if it sounds hot rock-ish, I'm ignoring that tone. I'm just going for the high tones now because I must have dug up 20 hot rocks because there was a steam or train line not far from here. And that's where it's all coming from. Okay, there's something in it. This is a higher tone and we're nearly there. It must be out now. Whew, windy day. Right, it's out, it's out. It's out. Oh, okay, interesting. It's just a little round. Mm, I don't know, that could be off a pendant or something. I don't know. Never know with that one, it's just a little round circle, but uh, it's off something. I'm trying my very, very, very best not to get too excited, but it might be a hammered coin in here. Look, it's thin, it's small, it's very hammered size. I don't think it is. I don't know, let me just try and clean this off for you. Well, I just showed it to Rob and he spat all over my coin. Cheers, Rob. Dirty git. Spat all over my coin. 
Now, we don't know what it is. We do think it's very old. It could be Roman, but I don't think it is Roman. Um, I'd say it's bronze. Don't know. It needs soaking properly and looking at properly, but uh, something very old and it looks pretty damn cool to me. Thanks, mate. And you. And me. I think that's old. He it's thinks old. that's old and he's old. Look at that, a mechanic's wedding ring. Beautiful. Up, 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 is that it? Oh, it's round. We've got roundness. It's round, it's an, and it's old. Probably, um, well, I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, it's got, it's not that well. It's all well, I don't know. It's got Britannia on there. I don't think I'm gonna get a date off that. And I can't see which king it is. Give me a second, yeah? So there you go. It's got a king on it. And I think it says 1920 or something like that. Just a penny. But it's a good sign. It's a very good sign. That's an interesting little thing in my bob. Any ideas? don't think there's a design on that end. I was wondering if it was a some kind of seal matrix or something, but I don't think it's a de I don't know if there is or not. I don't think so. Any ideas, please? We're just doing at the side of this road now. Um, I think Rob thinks... I don't know. I think he thinks wedding rings fall off people's hands whilst they're driving, fall out of the windows and just they'll be just down here, there'll be quite a few of them. I'm guessing that's what he's thinking anyway. Why why do you I, think this thing's have you ever lost a gold ring by a point in the in the direction that you want to go? I've never had a gold ring. <laughs> I've lost four now. Uh -huh. Just pointing out the window, it drops off your finger. It's it's gonna be there. Okay then. In fact, I'm sure that van just, I saw some at Glisten as he went past. That's slightly unusual. It's like a, a lead cone with like an iron rod going through the middle of it. Very strange indeed. Any ideas? Okay, it's time to tell you how much money we've raised so far for... Rays of Sunshine. I'd forgotten the name of my charity. Good God. Bing! There you are. I'm not going to tell you how much we've raised today or yesterday. I'm a bit behind. I, I don't know. What I will say is I don't remember getting a donation come through in the last 24 hours. I might be wrong. So please, guys, look in the description, um, go to diggingthecoast.com and please start donating. Thank you very much. I did say the other day, if there's any millionaires, um, just save yourself £20 for some petrol and, you know, whatever you need to eat, and send me the rest. Not a single person sent me over a million pounds. Not one. So, get it done, please. Um, I've gone down, God, 18 inches. And this has come up. Very interesting. At first I thought it was part of a pot, an old Roman pot or something, and it was going to be full of a hoard of coins, but it's not. Can you see the numbers on there? This, I think, is off the fuse from a, a some kind of World War II shell. Um, here comes Rob. Rob will know for sure. Rob! Rob, what have I got? What have I got? Is that off a fuse? Yep. Yeah, it's got a thing there, look. Yeah, that used to, that sit, and the fuse is sit on the top, and that's it. What Rob just said, what did you say? Say again. I said that that would be like that, and the fuse was sitting the top. Or oh, it's that way, I can't remember what way round it goes. 
that would go like that and then that would sit in the top. You see my Mercy's Cup? It's a trophy. A trophy, is it really? It looks it's a trophy. Like, it doesn't look like a trophy. It's a trophy. It's really not a trophy. It's, a it's a something trophy. to do with plumbing. It's a trophy. <laughs> it's quite trophy-ish, I'll give you that. It's a trophy, look. That's where the handles would be. Yeah. And they'd lift it. Yeah. That's what I thought, and then I'd done that. And it come apart. Oh, it's ashes. Someone's ashes. Yeah. Someone's ashes in there. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you can have them. <laughs> okay, Rob. What was it you said you wanted to find today? And I says, oh, I don't want to be bothered about them. Crotal Bell. Crotal Bell, was it? Guess what I've just found. Hey, <laughs> Where is it? Where's it gone? Be quiet, you. Look at this. Fully intact. Oh, a little damage there. Not too bad. Yeah. A Crotal Bell. That shows you that where the traffic was then. The traffic? Yeah, the, where the horses or whatever would be. What, in there? Yeah, come past here somewhere. <laughs> a crotal bell. Very happy with that. Find yeah. of the day. Yeah. Get you, in. You don't know what your coin is yet? I don't know what my coin is yet. No, that could be better, actually. I'm happy with that. My part of a bomb fuse or whatever. My crotal bell. I like that. I do like that. Bit of a bullet there. One penny, half penny, both from the 1900s, I think, about 1940, 1920. Modernish 1p. And this, which we don't know what it is. It looks old, but we can't get any details off it. Yeah. Could be Roman. Don't know. So yeah, that's about it for today. Have you enjoyed yourself, sir? It's been very good. Um, sir of Essex History Hunters, yeah? Yes, yeah, so it's been brilliant. And I think my find, really, the trophy, wins it no, today. No, no, it's... It's well, a trophy, isn't it? It's a trophy. Not really. It's not a trophy. Really. You, can, you can see... That's the trophy. There will be the handles and you'll be holding that up. Well, like I that. win that then. <laughs> Metal detectorist of the day. <laughs> Thanks for joining, guys. See you all later on Digging the Coast 365. See you later. <laughs> Good night.